So the way I'm looking at this, most underrated player on the team, going with the starter, not a backup. So that, you know, eliminates Ross Dwelly, Richie James Jr., Kevin Givens, a lot of players I love and believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for guys hiding in plain sight in the, in the starting lineup. Most underrated starter on the team. You could go with someone on defense. You could go with Jimmy Ward. He's been really good the last couple of years. He's been good for a very long time. He's been healthy the last couple of years. You could go with Jason Verrett, Dre Greenlaw. But I want to go on offense. I've been this is someone I've been I talk about a lot during the season. Uh I always say they got to get this guy the ball more often. And I rant and rave about it after games. I praise the Niners when they get on the ball. Kyle Juszczyk, I think, is underrated, which is weird. Everyone acknowledges that he's the best fullback in the game. He makes the Pro Bowl every year. But there's no, there are no other fullbacks. He's the only fullback, really. And he makes it kind of by default. I think some people feel like fullback shouldn't even be a, a position anymore in the Pro Bowl, that you could go three wide receivers or two tight ends or whatever, and that he's kind of like a dinosaur. But he is really, really good. If you just think of him as a pass catcher, like, no, forget the position. He scored six touchdowns last year and 36 touches. He, for his career, has always been a very efficient receiver in the sense that good things happen when you throw him the ball, even going back to Baltimore. It's an interesting stat. I like to look at quarterback rating when targeted. I find it interesting. How efficient is a quarterback when he throws to you? Do good things happen or do bad things happen? Is there a high completion percentage or a low completion percentage? Are there a lot of interceptions or a lot of touchdowns? Well, going back to use check his whole career, which started in 2015, his uh, quarterback rating when targeted is 105.8. That's incredibly high. To put that in context, George Kittle's quarterback rating when targeted is 106. So George Kittle is seen as a superstar because he is. And Juszczyk is seen as a nice part-time player who, you know, you give him the ball once or twice a game, but no more than that. I disagree. I feel like Juszczyk, and I've been saying this for years, is an offensive weapon, but isn't used that way and should be getting four or five touches a game because good things happen when he gets the ball. On par with George Kittle. They both make things happen. I would have to say that Juszczyk actually – extends and catches the ball away from his frame better than Kittle does. Uh, he's not as fast as Kittle, but he's fast. He's a hell of a player. Kyle Juszczyk, most underrated on the team. They give him a lot of money. They praise him. Uh, they let him speak for the offense. He's definitely the voice of the offense. He's the smartest player in the offense. He's the brains of the offense. Uh, but they don't give him the ball that much. And when they do, they score touchdowns. So, Kyle Juszczyk, get him the ball. The fact that they don't really have a number three receiver right now, that's fine by me because the guys who should be getting targets on this team are George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Kyle Juszczyk, and Ross Dwelly. Those five. I, yeah, I had to uh, slide Ross Dwelly in there. Just so you know, for context, his quarterback rating when targeted, I mean, quarterback's rating when targeting Ross Dwelly, his career, three years, 107.1. So that's another guy who deserves a little bit more workload. It seems to me if the Niners focus, if Kyle Shanahan focuses passing plays on the two tight ends, the fullback, and the two wide receivers, you could throw an occasional pass to a running back, an occasional pass to a number three receiver, great. But those five guys should lead the team in targets. Use check should be up 50, 60 targets in the season, not, not 30. So... Use check most underrated on the team. Get him the ball. Ross Dwelly too. I'd love to hear what you guys think. <laughs>